How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. Today I'm doing a fall lipstick collab. So if you would like to see some of the lipsticks that I pick for the upcoming fall, keep on watching. Okay, so first of all, I am doing a collab with several lovely ladies from the Facebook page called Ladies Collab. And I will have links to all those gals down below so you can see what lipsticks they picked for the uh, upcoming fall, like maybe what they're loving and everything. You know, there'd be like different variety. I always love seeing like people's favorites. So go ahead and check the other ladies down below and maybe subscribe if you like and uh, give them a thumbs up. They're all wonderful ladies. Um, this is pretty much, if you all remember Lulu on Beauty, she kind of is a big part of this whole Ladies Who Collab uh, Facebook page. I will put a link down to the page if you guys might be interested in joining. There's certain collabs like um, that uh, some have thought of and um, some uh, actually like Lulu has thought of or if you can think of one and ask some of the gals to join you it's a great way to meet other uh, other people and also doing some collabs coming up with great ideas and you know just different things for your for your channel so this one I jumped on right away because you know me I love my lipsticks I oh god if I, I you guys I, I'm almost embarrassed to show how many lipsticks I have because I am, am a hoarder junkie person totally so without a doubt so let's go ahead and show what lipsticks I pick for the fall that I'm probably going to be wearing a good bit mind you some are going to be limited edition so I do apologize but they are some favorites of mine sadly they're limited editions though but um so this one here is from L'Oreal it's from one of their project runway collections that they had this one's in 486, 486, it's sick, gosh, Lori. it's in 486, the Mystic's Kiss is the name of it, and this I saw from Miss Lola Lynn Laura, and it almost gives off the same coloring as, um, What's that MAC shade? Rebel. Everybody loves Rebel from MAC and it kind of gives off that same coloring. I do have Rebel and I do use it. I just, I really like it. It's a little more moisturizing, I guess. But anyway, that's Mystic's Kiss. I wish they would have this again. I feel like, and as you can tell, I do like my purples or mauve berry shades and everything. I think I cannot do this without putting this one in here and it is from the Katy Perry CoverGirl lipsticks. This one's in the uh, Katy Perry shade. I don't have, uh, there's a couple of shades I might get but and this is going to be a really pretty shade I feel also for fall, upcoming fall. There it is there. I think it's just going to be one of them really pretty colors. I mean I think you can get away with it anytime but Definitely with fall coming up. And I love a lot of the CoverGirl lipsticks. I feel they're like not mentioned much, but I really like that one. And then this shade I wore not too long ago. And I feel like you can maybe, obviously, you can't wear it any time, but it is a perfect shade. You know, I feel like there has to be a red in there somewhere, like a red type of a shade in in your fall collection at some point i have several that i do really like this one is a really pretty color and it is from the company called motives cosmetics you know the whole, uh, motives from um what's the her name uh laura rittinger and this is in that shade ruby i had a lot of compliments on one of my videos i think my hair was up or something and um it is a beautiful like berry kind of reddish with the blue blue based red very pigmented too right there i feel you have to have that color i don't know just do so that would probably be 
my go-to red for a good bit. And they're very pigmented, very creamy and pigmented. I really need to look more into some motives. I think motives has really nice products. I know some people are a little meh with them, but I think they have some pretty good products and their lipsticks are very, very creamy and pigmented. This shade is a Milani shade that I got and it kind of caught my attention of the color. It is number 42 Rose uh, Femme, 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 however you want to say that, but it's in the number 42 if you can't see it any other way, but yeah. It is that pinky brown that everybody, it's like kind of the color that a lot of people like a lot. Their lipsticks are very creamy and pigmented, so that's Rose Femme. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Very pretty. This shade here is from Rimmel. It's one of their uh, lip pencils. These lip pencils here, um, what is it? Lasting Finish Color Rush Lip Pencil. And this one's in Keep Mauving is the name of the shade, Keep Mauving. And yeah, again, another pretty kind of pinky brown shade almost. Right there. Almost looks the same as that one, huh? That's Keep Mauving. This one looks more of a in the brown color that I see. This one has a little more pink base to it from what I'm seeing. I don't know if you can see that. That has more brown, that has a little more pink. Okay, this color I just recently got. Definitely feel like it's gonna be a fall color um, that I'll be able to wear a good bit. And it is from the Stila, the liquid lipsticks. I don't have very many liquid lipsticks and I really need to start investing in some. But this one is in, um, it's B-A-C-I. My husband believes it might be French, a French name or something like that, B-A-C-I. So I believe you pronounce it um, Bossy. Bossy? I think that's how you pronounce it, but too hard for me to put for you guys to see the color, but it's B-A-C-I if you guys want to know. And it's one of their liquid lipsticks. I love this shade. I am definitely going to get more. And they dry to a matte. Right there it is. And it's called Bussy. <laughs> I feel like I'm being one of them chefs, you know. <laughs> Bussy. Really pretty. I really like it. And oh my goodness, the smell smells like... It smells like cupcakes or cake batter or something. It's, it's one of those really nice smells. Next one, I have to put this one in here. Because it is one of my favorite fall shades. For sure, no doubt. I wore it a good bit last year. And I do love the Too Faced Melted Lipsticks. I love these things. This one is in Melted Fig. Uh, I just, I love these. And I really like these. These are long wearing. There's Melted Fig. Just, I love my purpley plummy shades for fall. All right, another lip pencil that I really like to wear a lot is, I believe this one's smitten. Should be, yes. It's one of the Revlon um, lip balms. I love these things. I think they're great. I love lip pencils because you can line your lips as well. Then you just fill in. It's just like one hit and run go kind of a thing. Now, of course, these do have that peppermint smell or minty smell or minty feeling to them. So if you don't like that, you wouldn't like these kind of lip lip balms. I don't mind it. I love them. I don't know. I just, I, I love the minty freshness feeling. And it's like a reddish berry shade. It's a little more sheer, but it gives a nice tint right there. It is right here. It is. Gives a nice more of a tint to the lips if anything. And they're nice. There's something quick and fast to put on. All right, another shade from Rimmel. I love a lot of the Kate, I think these are the Kate, yeah, the Kate Moss Rimmels in the black tubes. This one's in eight. It, it's like a zero eight. One day I told everybody it was 80, but I think it's zero eight or number eight. And this is just a perfect nude, neutrally shade to wear. I love this one. This one I have a hard time putting down because I don't want to overuse it. But then again, thank goodness, I don't think it's limited edition. But 
there it is right there and it's that I like a real pretty neutrally nude shade that you can wear anytime um, I really like the Kate Moss lipsticks. I know they have some of the nudes out, as a matter of fact, right now, and some of those are really pretty too, but this one here, I gravitate a lot. I really do. I don't know. It's just a lot. And then lastly, I feel like I can't go away without... I might have to add one more, guys. I know some people said 10, but I think I might have to add one more. But this one here is... Um, Oops, all one. This one here is um, Touch of Spice from the Maybelline Color Sensational uh, lipsticks. Maybelline probably is my favorite lipsticks in the drugstore. Um, I haven't tried a lot of the Milani's or some of the other ones too much, but I know I definitely love the Maybelline lipsticks. They're, they just never fail me. The pigmentation, the coloring, the creaminess, just the whole thing. So if anything in the drugstore, Maybelline is the one I always gravitate. Like they have so many variety of shades, so many textures and everything. Um, I'm not sure. Are these the matte? Yeah, these are the mattes, but they're like a creamy matte. I'm not too big on mattes. It depends for me. I'm not a matte gal. Yeah, this is Touch of Spice. And I did use it a good bit already before, so I'm going to have to put this on my other hand. I can't swatchy. But yeah, there's the pretty touch, touch of spice color. Just pretty. I love their lipsticks from Maybelline. So the next one, like I said, I am not sure. I was trying to look on my, my sticker here. And I don't see it says limited edition, so maybe it wasn't, maybe I was thinking it was, but it's number 875 Elegant Lilac. I love this one. I really, really do. It is, I just love this one. It's so pretty. And I wear this one a good bit, but that's elegant. I know it's probably not going to be for everybody. Somehow I can pull it off. I don't know. I was surprised because I wasn't sure if I'd be able to. That's called Elegant Lilac and it's in the color Sensational. Like I said, I don't see it says limited edition, so maybe it was. I get mixed up on some of those because, you know, some of them are limited edition. So anyway, beauties, that is my fall lipsticks and the fall collab. Those are going to be my picks and ones that I'll probably work with along the way. I'm sure I'll have a lot others, obviously, because I am a lipstick junky hoarder yeah just i love my lipsticks and lip gloss any lip gloss lipstick liquid lipstick all of it i i really enjoy them so thanks so much for joining me please do not forget to go and check the other beautiful lovely ladies out their links will be down below so go and check them out and maybe subscribe like i said if you like and everything give them a thumbs up show them some love and um, I'm looking forward to seeing what everybody picks themselves, too. I'm kind of curious because I'm sure they're going to end up having some that I don't have. And then guess what? It's going to be added onto my list again. I'll have, I'll, I'll, my list grows. I think all of our lists grows, don't they? <laughs> so anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate that. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That would help me out so much. And also, if you are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and you can join me each week. I do have every Wednesday a what I'm liking and not so much a segment that I do every week. Sometimes I have a special guest with me, which has been fun lately. And as always, beauties, please remember to just be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you can take care. I will see you then. Love you. Bye.